What about the legislation this week where the president seems to try to get emergency deportations moving faster yeah. through the courts? Is that likely to, you know, this is a law that's been on the books for a while. Is that likely to continue as we move forward? Yeah, again, um, it's part of an aggressive program of enforcement that I think is largely discriminatory, that targets state li states like Connecticut, targets urban, urban communities and immigrant communities, um, people of color. And it's clear from this president and not just what he says in his tweets, um, which I think are overtly racist and mm -hmm. hateful, but also in his uh, policies from, from the travel ban to this threatened roundup uh, and now throwing out any immigrant who can't prove that they've been here for at least two years. It's part of, a, I think, a pointless and ultimately cruel policy in an attack on people here in Connecticut. They termed it in some of the uh, research I did, a show us your papers type of government yeah. that'll end up heading that way. Um, so that's not the country either one of us yeah. grew up in. And that's not what any of us expects when we get up in the morning and walk out our door and go to work. And, you know, at the end of the day, this is a reign of terror that betrays everything that we're about. Do you feel like th this is, sometimes the president is accused of bluster. He's gonna say all this stuff, and then when you start looking at the facts and the numbers, you go, hmm, maybe he was sort of bluffing part of this and not bluffing at other times. Is there a way to take that into, there's a way to take that into account? We're well past bluffing and bluster. Yeah. You look at those, photos of people jammed into rooms smaller than this mm -hmm. one that we're yep. doing our interview in now. Kids wrapped in mylar, kids separated from their families and shipped off to faraway places like, like Connecticut, far away from Texas and the southern border. Yeah. This is real. This, is, this isn't just talk. It's not bluster. It's real. And it's affecting people here in Connecticut. People are at risk of being deported. People are getting deported. Um, there, there isn't a day that goes by that we don't get a phone call in the office of the Attorney General saying somebody is in deep trouble and we need your help. When you look at the numbers from the George W. Bush administration, the Obama administration, and now Trump, um, right now, as it stands, it seems from the reports I read that Obama probably uh, ex um, got 2.5 million people uh, sent out of the mm -hmm. country back to their home countries. President Trump is only in the first two years of his term. Um, it seems like it was very quietly done under the Obama administration compared to this administration. Where do you see the difference? I think the two main differences, and, and there were things that, that I objected to under President Obama, Democratic president, right. uh, but the two main differences were he was focused on violent offenders, number one. Right. A lot of the folks that were deported uh, had violent offenses and had committed violent offenses. And President Trump would say he's doing the same thing. You disagree? I, I disagree. Okay. There are lots of folks, um, we were just, uh, at federal court last week um, for a family from Manchester um, and they they work at a McDonald's uh, in North Haven mm -hmm. and they've done nothing wrong right. and they've been targeted for deportation. And what, what are the reasons? What are they what are told in their reasons? You know, it's, this is ICE's program of enforcement. They're just targeting people um, whose uh, immigration status admittedly uh, is complicated and uh, needs some work and they have immigration lawyers uh, working on their behalf and um, making arguments for asylum for this particular family. But that speaks to the second difference between President right. Obama and President Trump. President Obama respected the process, and he gave people an opportunity under our nation's laws to make claims for asylum. Right. And if you have a good claim for asylum that you're going to get sent back, this family in particular uh, was going to get sent back to Bangladesh, they're Mormons, and they feel like because of their religious beliefs, they are at physical risk in their uh, home country, for their own right. personal safety right. in, their, uh, in their country of origin. And that's, you know, at least a good on its face claim uh, for asylum. And they should be able to press that case with the federal government. And President Obama respected that. Um, I don't think President Trump has any respect for those laws. Okay. This is Face the Facts with NBC Connecticut.